William Brownfield, Assistant Secretary of State for International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, said that the U.S. and China are moving in the right direction in combating wildlife trafficking. Are we where we want to be right now? No, of course not. Neither in the United States nor in China. But are we moving in the right direction? I think we are. His remarks came on the World Environment Day at a newly opened exhibit at the Crime Museum in Washington, D.C. He said to those traffickers, hope you spend your next Environment Day in jail. Among the exhibits, some were confiscated during investigations by the authority. Because it's listed as an endangered species, it's protected against the sale or import or export of the tiger into the United States. This tiger was smuggled into the United States and it was seized during one of our criminal investigations uh, with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. Edward Grace, Deputy Assistant Director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, said people's awareness of wildlife conservation and preservation is rising. Yes, over the last few years, I think uh, awareness has gone up, and this exhibit will help show to people, you know, that wildlife trafficking is important. And if we don't do something to stop wild tra wildlife trafficking, some of these species will become extinct in our lifetimes. Illegal wildlife trafficking is a multi-billion dollar a year industry and has been linked to funding various terrorism organizations, threatening national and global security. In China, a total of 662 kilograms of confiscated ivory seized over the past year was dumped into crushers in Beijing and ground down last month. Wildlife trafficking is not a problem for one country or one region. It is a problem for the entire world. The issue will be incorporated onto the upcoming annual U.S.-China Strategic and Economic Dialogue later this month.